Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is known to throw down in a Sister Circle kitchen. He's here to whip up a meal for the entire family that we'll enjoy. Okay, welcome back down to the circle. Celebrity Thank chef you. and host, hold on, of New Soul Kitchen. On Cleo is Chef Jannard. How are you? I am good. How are you doing, good. friend? I'm so listen, we, we, we know you got a huge family. Uh, you got like yeah. nine kids in the house, okay? <laughs> you got a couple of dogs too, don't you? Exactly, and a cat. Y'all very busy in the house. <laughs> but we want to talk about how to prepare a great meal, right? For mm -hmm. the children that, uh, that will stretch. That's also. the key. That's the so key. What we got and here? one of the biggest problems that I, when I get requests from people is always how do I repurpose my dish, make it something cool for the kids. Okay. And I always think about you. You know, a lot of people we're working on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. You get home, you're tired, but you want to put yes. something together. Yes. You Quick, do. simple dish is a ranch and lemon pepper seared chicken Ooh. breast with a nice size salad on the yes. side. Yes. And it's very simple, get but the protein. key is, yeah, when you eat it that night before and you got those leftovers, what do you do What with do it? you do? And that's what it's about. And, it's, and I'm going to show you as we progress into this how to transform that into some cool tacos. Okay. But to make a nice good lemon, lemon pepper ranch chicken, okay. just got a little ranch seasoning here. Okay. You can get whatever brand you like or and make I your own. And your chicken is already seasoned. What did you yeah. season it with? Actually, I I season it with some lemon pepper mm -hmm. and then I use a little smoked paprika. Oh, I like that. Give it a that. nice subtle flavor. And a mm -hmm. lot of people think, hey, you know, you're feeding the kids big time. But it's not about feeding the kids big time. It's about providing something that's good for them, wholesome, they enjoy and whomever you're cooking for in the house to enjoy right, as well. and it's chicken. Everybody yeah. loves chicken. And it's not time consuming at all. And what I always suggest is you take your chicken breast, mm -hmm. slice them very thin, yes. so you cook them a fraction of the time. Because yes. see, you know, when you go in the kitchen, guess what? You don't want to waste a whole lot of time Absolutely. there, but you want to produce Absolutely a great meal. Yeah. yeah, I've been seeing cooking yeah. with Kwan. I mean, I'm just saying, because you know what I would have done is take that same breast and I would have pounded it out a little bit, make it a little uh -huh. bit thin. But cutting it is the same difference. Exactly. Yeah. See, when I go that pound route, I'm making a nice chicken marsala. Ooh, a chicken marsala. Yeah. Or even a chicken parmesan. It's really yeah. good. And, too. and look, we're going to get to some parmesan, because what we're going to do is we're going to make this cool salad. I and I'm going to show that. you what you're going to be doing with your skillet okay, while we're getting well, you hot. Let me know what's but, good. But what I always like to do is first in the bottom of your salad mm -hmm. bowl, always put your dressing first. So coating it. Yeah, you know how you it. normally uh, put your salad in, thin, and throw it. The, exactly. And then there's nothing to the bottom. And it's not even. So Love always that. start coating it at the bottom. Okay. Then add your romaine, your spinach. Okay. And then what I like Ooh, to do, juice. because I love my lettuce staying nice, bright, mm -hmm. and beautiful. We're going to hit it with a little lemon mm -hmm. juice. Keep it fresh. Now, while we're doing that, now our skillet is getting nice and warm. Okay. We got some Parmesan cheese. We're going to do two things with All this. All right, that's what we're going to do. First thing is, we're going to season. I like that. And we're going to top our salad with it. Yeah. Now, the second thing is, you just take little nice amounts. Okay. And you're just going to evenly place them in your skillet. Okay. Here. And then I did that one. They don't have to be big. Okay. And I want you to do one right beside Sounds it. Sounds good. While you're doing that, we're going to top this salad off with some nice diced tomatoes. I also like putting a little cilantro in there. And I'm just making this like almost a uh, flat like round circle. Like a pancake. Circles. Yeah, so like you a have your spatula circle. over there. Okay, well see I just did it with my hand, honey. But see that's how I cook at the house, honey. Yeah. Now you notice at the same time while you're landing, I look how as I'm tossing the salad, you see how the salad dressing is slowly coming to the top here. Mm -hmm. Cause see the key is in the kitchen is to work smart, not hard. Not hard, baby. It's not hard. Exactly. Job. Now that salad is ready. Like yep, okay, there you go. We got three of them going right yeah, you here. You got three of them. And you mm -hmm. do them in the form of a pancake shell. Yeah. Now, after you got those going, and what you do is you just let them sit there. We're going to sear them on each side for okay. one minute. So what we need to do when we're searing them on, one, on each side, we're allowing the cheese to kind of come together That's and make it. a mold. Because one of the things is a lot of people think, well, to make these taco shells, I got to put binders in it. No, it's cheese. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows when cheese melts down and then when it cools together, it automatically binds naturally. I like and that. then also it's about serving your child something nice, healthy. And it's now, fun. Yeah, it is. It is. And so you have that where you can plate it up. Okay. Over here, like how we already got our finished product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this is the thing. Remember, for the next day, we convert these into some cool little tacos. Oh, wow. So you for keep the it children zipper. for lunch. Exactly. You may even want to bring some to lunch with you and serve with the ladies. 
So is it going to be fresh? But sometimes you know when we put uh, the dressing on the lettuce and then it doesn't it doesn't sit well in the refrigerator. But I guess what we'll do we'll find out how yes, exactly we we're going to maintain the freshness of this lettuce when we return it. How we're going to stretch this meal exactly. for our kids tomorrow's we're lunch. We're going to kick it up a notch. All right, we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> We're back with the rest of the ladies, and before we get a good taste, we just want to show you how we shape these shells here. So, yeah. <laughs> now this is, oh, this is the thing here. Also, oh, it's a, yes, and, you, and people thinking, okay, how can I make a taco shell in my house? I don't have all the utensils. Yes, you do. Most of y'all have muffin pans, so what you're going to do is, you're going to drop it right there in the center. Oh, That's how you do it. Flip that muffin pan over, turn it into a cooler <laughs> kitchen hat. Now you <laughs> instantly have hat. a kitchen taco hat. shell. Wow, and this is what awesome. it is. How to take things right there in the what center. What did you, you use? cheese and... That's it. That's Just it. cheese. Parmesan cheese. Just what, cheese. Is that, what kind of oil is that? That's no, no oil. The, the cheese, cheese naturally cheese has oil. oil. It's pure you know, uncut. Exactly. And the key is, and you were talking <laughs> about how we keep that salad fresh. Remember I squared it with that lemon juice? You did. That citric acid. It preserves the salad. Right. Drop that right in there. Right. And then what you do is oh. you take your taco shells, however many taco shells your kids, your children like. Uh -huh. Take the taco shells because they're cheese and they're bendable and I they wanna, won't break. I wanna oh. You load them in the like bottom the of your little zip. Go ahead on feed, Ooh. feed. I'm used to working in the kitchen with a lot of kids, I'm so y'all can work around me. That's fantastic. Drop it in your bag. Boom. Mm. There you go. Your kid got a full taco salad. See how simple that is? It's very simple. You dice your chicken up. I'm doing this tomorrow with Carter. Oh, I love this. That's what it's about. Right. It's so flavorful, mm -hmm. too, by the way. Of course. Oh, mm, my God. So good. Very good. I'm going to do this, too. Yes, this that's really good. You should. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chef Janine. Oh, we appreciate a pleasure, you. Ladies. Happy Thoughtful Thursday to you. <laughs> so good. And we love you.